Hi, I'm Kathy from Night Owl Quilting Studio, and also known as the Gadget Girl. And I'm here to, to show you the March Gadget of the Month, which is Mary Lee's Numbered Pins. I love these numbered pins when I'm working on a large quilt top. And let me explain to you how they work. First of all, there's two sides to this package. The first side has pins numbered one through 10. The other side has pins numbered from 11 through 20. When you open it up, you'll see that there are little compartments. And so each numbered pin is inside of its own compartment. So this is the pin numbered one. The way I use these pins is when I'm putting my rows together, I want to make sure that I'm not mixing up my rows because you know how it, long it takes you to figure out what blocks you want in what order and what rows to put them in and then you have them all set up by color or light or value and it takes a long time to do that. So the last thing that you want to do is pick them all up and take them to your sewing machine and accidentally sew the wrong sides together and have the rows in reverse order. So these pins are a lifesaver when it comes to that. Now, a lot of you have contributed to our community block. And so you know that, as you can see behind me, we have a lot of blocks to assemble. We have over 60 blocks that have come in. And so we're going to be setting them up in a particular pattern. Um, we're going to line them up how we think they look pleasing. And we want to make sure that they stay in the order that we've put them in after we've designed the top. So what we're going to do is pin number one is going to be placed over here on block number one in row number one. And so I would pin that pin to that block. Then I would pin the number two pin onto the second row, the first block. Now I may even go as far as pinning a number one here, a number two, a number three, a number four, all the way down the row. So I want to make sure that I can keep those in the correct order. If you want to do the same thing with your row two, you could simply put the number two first, and then right underneath, you could place the number one. So this would be row two, block one, and then this would be row two, block two. So you would put the number two pin here. Now, when I'm doing them normally, I wouldn't just stick them in the design board. I would actually attach them to the blocks. So then I know when I'm going to my sewing machine, that this block will get sewed to this one, this one will get sewed to that one. And on some of your quilts, some of the blocks are so similar in style or design, it's very easy to take this block, put it right side together with the second block, and then sew over here on this side instead of over here on this side. So it reverses the order of the blocks. But having the numbered pins in there helps you to keep them in the right order and helps you to know when you get to your sewing machine which block is the first one and so you can um, sew the seam on the right side. And like I said, I use my numbered pins all the time when I'm putting my quilt tops together because it helps to keep me in order.